we are going to make some chimichurri sauce to go with our uh, brisket tacos but I also want to tell you that this chimichurri sauce is like a condiment it's Argentinian and but the whole world loves it anywhere you go you love it and you can ask 10 different people this is one of those things 10 different people give you 10 different recipes but they're very similar and they're all really 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 good and these are going to be great as a little condiment to go on our um, brisket tacos you can also marinate chicken ribs pork pork chops grilled with this on it anything it's great and wonderful and I want to get started showing y'all this I'm also going to do it on a separate video so in case you watch this whole long video of our brisket tacos and you just want to go back and see the chimichurri sauce and its recipe then I, you can look it up separately as well um, first thing we're going to put in there y'all see I've got my board here prepared with all this pretty green is some um, uh, cilantro now if you do not like cilantro I'm sort of going to Mexican eat like flavors with it with the cilantro if you don't you can use all parsley okay so this is a very versatile little recipe that you can kind of make your own I've got one bunch of cilantro though I love cilantro and so does John and I'm so thankful because I just dearly love its flavor y'all see how I kind of held my knife at a 45 degree angle and sort of just shaved the, most of the leaves off and left the stems you can do that but I'm gonna tell you the stems taste just as well so don't worry about some in there guys and I'm gonna chop this and we need to finely chop it and that's another thing you can do this in your food processor I would just pulse it though because I don't like mine to be the consistency creaminess you know I like it to still show all the little flecks of the flavors in there so you do it as roughly chopped or as finely chopped as you want to but I'll chop it really good on here and I'm not going to use the food processor we'll do it kind of old Argent Ar Argentinian style yeah I got choked up on that didn't I um, old school because this thing's been around way for food processors <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to chop on that some more. I just want to show you. Well, no, I'm not. Let me finish that so I can get it off the board. Because we've got parsley and garlic. And many other little elements to put in here. Like I say, um, one of you was asking me for a steak marinade. This is a wonderful steak marinade. This is a wonderful chicken marinade or pork marinade. And also, even if you don't use it for a marinade, like I say use it as a dipping sauce or a condiment to go on top like a grilled skirt steak sliced with this oh my goodness so good john and i are going to eat steaks friday night we're going to sit out back and grill some and we'll put a little bit of that on there and it's fantastic um i think i'm gonna let this be chopped enough like i say you chop just as fine as you want or as rough as you want or pulse it in your food processor did I say like I say Arr! that drives me crazy on these videos <laughs> I notice I say that a lot I'm trying to stop okay y'all I need my bench scraper I washed it here it is here it is so we can get all of that in there mm, it smells so good and I hope you do like cilantro but if you don't you certainly can just use the parsley and you also can do other things if you love dill put you a little bit of dill in there that would be really good oh and on some fish this also is real good on some fish like some um, baked fish or pan seared fish I have parsley I have me a, about that was a large bunch of cilantro and this is about a half a bunch of parsley okay and it called for flat leaf and I had to pick it where I've got it growing so I've got some flat leaf and I've got some curly tops but it's no matter they both taste wonderful to me and I'm gonna do the same on them choppity chop 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 next I have oregano that I'm growing outside I'm growing it outside right on my canning kitchen porch I thought John and I would dine al fresco tonight this evening um, it's finally stopped raining and the sun has peaked out and I'm so thankful yes I am 
and so he and I will just sit out here on this porch and I'm sure gonna let y'all join us y'all know he's gonna say the blessing yes he is choppity chop 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 trying to think of all the other things like I say you can use this oh I just said it again like I say Rah! Um, a, some grilled chicken or just a pan seared chicken breast or baked chicken breast and put this on there when you get through it gives it so much flavor so any meat any kind of meat you want to put this on it will be wonderful <laughs> okay guys I have chopped that parsley to smithereens haven't I I know it Trying to, I'm trying to go old school and not do it in the processor. Last time I did it in the food processor. I'm adding that to our bowl. I hope y'all can all see this little bowl. I, I set it on top of another bowl just so everyone could see it. And I missed a chopping of my parsley. Alright, get your little self in there. Get your little self in there. I missed you. It missed the bus, didn't it? Now then, I have some um, fresh oregano that I'm growing outside but you do not have to have all this fresh stuff if you don't have fresh oregano I'm gonna do a little of both you're gonna need a quarter cup of dried oregano okay but because I've got some fresh oregano and if you've got fresh oregano you could do quarter do a quarter cup too because it's still really strong strong tasting you're gonna need a quarter cup of fresh oregano but since I've, I mean dried oregano but since I've got fresh I'm gonna do about uh maybe an eighth of a cup or a couple of tablespoons and I need some hot water to bloom the flavor in the dried oregano um, because going in here is just gonna be um, an acidic flavor and an oil so we need to bloom our oregano or whatever you call it I know I may not be saying quite what it is so about an eighth of a cup or I'm gonna do about two tablespoons of this oregano in some hot water y'all saw I just got it out of my faucet hot water just to get to awaken the flavors one two there we go and if you're just gonna use dried oregano just do you a quarter cup of hot hot water and a quarter cup of oregano all right let's let that bloom in there for a moment or just wake up wake up oregano <laughs> all right next in here i'm going to use my leaf to oregano from outside and on oregano you do get it off the stems because its stem is kind of woodsy like it's very hardy it's not like parsley and um cilantro and like I say if you love dill you could do that and you could put it on some fish and mint leaves if you want to add some mint leaves I would just stick for my my base thing to be cilantro or parsley or a little of both okay I wouldn't do it all of those because those are really strong aren't they this oregano is really strong to me um, I tried to find some Mexican oregano to grow and I couldn't this is Greek oregano but I saw some Mexican oregano in the grocery store dried at um, Brookshire's. So I might have to get me some Mexican oregano for the rest of this month. Yeah. Okay. Got that all these leaves picked off of my oregano. Like I say, you can skip this whole step right here. And I could already have been finished with this recipe if I wasn't going old school. But I just wanted to talk with y'all a while and show y'all that you don't have to get out fancy equipment just to make something really 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 good and this is going to go in your refrigerator when we make it and it also i know it'll last two or three weeks and like i say if you put it on chicken and pork and ribs um and you marinate with it you won't even have it in two or three weeks you know what i mean it's just so flavorful so very flavorful you can put it in a soup I'm sure to really just kick up the flavor and be wonderful I'm just smashing my garlic cloves I'm putting three or four and I've got three really big ones and one little one 
So three or four garlic cloves. And if you love garlic, you can do more than that. And we are going to mince this really, really finely. Yes, we are. And I do like to put the raw garlic, guys. Um, I do. I don't like to do the powdered in this. And like I say, I like to leave it kind of rustic looking. So you can see all the flecks of all the different flavors in there. So very good. Garlic peel always sticks to my fingers. Let me rinse my fingers. Always does. It's sticky, sticky, isn't it? <laughs> all right. Here we go, little garlic get you chopped up I saw a lot of y'all um, joined my friend Renee and her homemade soaps and she was just overwhelmed with joy at all this she never expected such a response and I even warned her about y'all I told her they're gonna they're gonna want to and I told her how y'all want to see us do a video together and so she and I have already got in the makings and plans I'm gonna go over to her little her little shop we all got us a little she shed to do our things in mine's a canning kitchen she shed and hers is a soap making she shed but we all love our little places it's like our little playhouses and it's our joyful spots you know joyful spots it took me years and years and Renee's my age because she and I met in school and we finally got our little our little joyful places in our yards <laughs> so I am gonna go over there and she and I are gonna um, do the next time I get on there and talk about her soaps we'll do it together because y'all would y'all would love Renee y'all will love her I just know it okay guys I have minced and minced and minced on that garlic and we are going to put it in here too. I guess everyone can see that pretty well, hopefully. I'm about to get where I can put this bowl up on this board. I'm always stacking stuff up so y'all can see it really well. Especially, y'all can see it, but on YouTube, I'm having to put it up. I asked John to build me a, a nice size board so I can have a taller workspace. <laughs> oh goodness, like he's got time to do something else, right? I know. We are busy people. Okay. Yeah, this oregano smells good. And you can leave that little bit of water in there. It's not going to hurt a thing to add it right in here. Not at all. Just a little bit. Just a little bit to be good. All right, guys. Next, we're going to add some red pepper flakes, and this is optional. If you don't want it to be spicy at all, you can just totally leave it out, or you could put a little bit of cayenne pepper. I would probably start with a quarter teaspoon um, of ground cayenne, you know, and go from there. You can even chop up some chilies of any sort that you like and put in here. Um, I'm just going to use these crushed red pepper flakes, and I had my tablespoon and what did I do I used it on my oregano yes I did let me get it cleaned back off for us and I am going to put a tablespoon in here and again you can back off from this or you can add more whatever you want to do I'm gonna do a tablespoon John and I like it a little spicy not just crazy hot but a little spicy you know you know and then we are going to put some sea salt I'm going to do a pinch of sea salt sea salt flakes or just use regular salt whatever you have will be perfect and fine and I meant to get me out some limes but I know y'all won't mind I'll do it with y'all on here this is black pepper I'm grinding or y'all know mine's a pepper medley pepper medley of all colors all right guys I've got olive oil now on your acidity you can use lemon juice if you want to you need an acidity in here you can use um, white wine vinegar red wine vinegar you can use apple cider vinegar I have it's very good in here you sure can and today because we're kind of sticking with our little Mexican flavor theme I want to use uh, lime juice and I forgot to get out my lime so let me get over here guys I'm just gonna grab some real quick
and I'm back. I got my limes. I'm going to wash them real good here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll do all my prep work and then, <laughs> then get out here and be like, really? I'm really seriously? Seriously? Okay, guys. Wash my knife back. And move on. Yeah, it'd be something a little different for John and me to sit outside here on the Cannon Kitchen porch. We've only just drank a cup of coffee is all we've ever done on it. So we can have our supper here tonight. Or our dinner. And I think that would be really nice. This is the juice of three limes. That's going to be my acidity, okay? And you can use the juice of three lemons. You can, like I say, use the red wine vinegar or white wine vinegar or apple cider vinegar. And I'm thinking if you use a vinegar like that, you would do somewhere around a quarter of a cup, okay? Um, somewhere in that neighborhood, give or take. This is a very forgiving little recipe. Um, as you see, it's very forgiving and it can have many little variations to it. You can kind of make it your own. Oh, something else you can put in here. Um, if you want to really get put a Mexican flavor in here, is put you about a half a teaspoon of cumin. And a lot of people put a bunch more cumin than that. They sure do. Or cumin, however you say it. But it's a strong little um, Mexican or it's a strong spice or herb in it. Or flavor, whatever it is. I think it's a spice. So, um... Just be careful with that, you know, start a little and go from there. I know some people, I actually know some people put a quarter cup of cumin in here, so <laughs> that's a lot. This lime is so big, wow, he's huge. I had to put him in the wrong way just to get him to squeeze. Wow, he says, yeah, I'm going to put a bunch of flavor up in there. Mm, my mouth's watering, y'all, at how good this is. I just know how good it is. And I'll use it tonight on our brisket tacos this weekend. I'll use it on our grilled steaks. And it's so good. And I need a spoon. Here we are. Yum, 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 yum. Now, all we need now is going to be one half to a cup of olive oil just keep adding however much you want to um, I'll show you kind of like how I do it and I happen to have I think about a cup of olive oil left in here so I thought I'd go no it's about three quarters of a cup I'm sorry about three quarters of a cup of olive oil is left in here that's not quite see that makes it nice and juicy but you want it where it's almost like pourable okay you want it to be very olive oily does that make sense yeah there we are mm. <laughs> and I'm gonna put it in a pretty prettier smaller little bowl and then I'm gonna come show y'all a close-up I'm pouring that where I can see and y'all can't see. I know that's aggravating. I am so sorry. I am dearly sorry. And I see lots of goodness in there. I've got to get out. i got to find me a spatula, guys. A spatula. Yes. Lots and lots of goodness left in this little bowl. Yum. I want to walk y'all out and show y'all all the cows. I want to do so much this video would go on for days, wouldn't it? <laughs> We've moved them back across the road with us. And the grass is literally up to their bellies. I mean, they are high and you can't even see the calves. Some of them, all you can barely see is a little piece of their back. They're in such high, tall, beautiful grass. So they are having a great time over here. Let me come show y'all and then I'm going to taste it. Let's see here. I'm going to put a light on that. Does that not look great? Let me come show y'all up close. 
I'm going to turn my light around too because I want y'all to see this. How beautiful that looks. Just gorgeous. Yes, it does. And it's going to be like our little taco sauce, our taco condiment. And the longer this sits, the longer it marries, of course, kind of like our pickled onions and our charred corn salsa. All of it. All of it. It will taste me a little bit. Goodness gracious. Even by itself, it's wonderful, but I can just almost taste a grilled steak or a grilled pork chop or something or grilled chicken or anything with it. I can really, oh, this is so good, y'all. It's already so good. So I am going to get my brisket out of the oven and I'm going to let it cool. Of course, I'll show y'all what it looks like. And then when John gets home, we're going to dine outside and take y'all out there with us. So we'll, I just want to jump on here and take a minute to show y'all a precious package one of you sent me. Um, this came from, I'm always saving y'all's addresses so I can send thank you notes. Um, Helen, and she lives in Florida, and she sent me quite the sweet little care package here. It's darling. Um, this is my most precious thing to me is the card that I will keep down here in the canning kitchen. I love to read them. It says, Amy, just wanted to share with you some simple things I believe you will appreciate. I love and appreciate what you do. Thank you for sharing your love for cooking with so many of us. Love, Helen. It's sometimes easy to forget that there are nice people out there doing nice things for others. Thanks for being such a special reminder. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? That's so darling. Thank you so much, Helen. And I'm going to show everybody some of these wonderful little treats you sent me. Um from portuguese lots of them i'm just i'm tickled over this uh first thing she sent was three cloths and she says they're handmade and embroidered from portugal so that is precious and priceless to me she packaged them so well so they stay nice and dry in these ziplocs i want to show you all these hand embroidered um cloths ah oh, they're beautiful beautiful my mother saw these and had a fit over them let me show you up close see these up close i want y'all to see let me turn the light on there <laughs> i just want y'all to see these beautiful things see how they're hand embroidered with that and ah they're beautiful 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 and it's many of them let's see i'm gonna go on with this um three of them she sent or wait a minute yeah one two three she sent four actually oh this one's bigger oh my goodness how beautiful also embroidered and it's gorgeous i love that it's just an an off white that is oh so beautiful to me i love that i certainly do one of my favorites how did you know how did you know then the next thing is a tray napkin. She said it also is hand embroidered by her aunt. So precious. And she said my aunt attempting to get me to follow in her footsteps. <laughs> Maybe one day. <laughs> so let's look at this napkin. Again, she's got everything packaged so preciously. And I just, I'm overwhelmed by what y'all send me. I really am. Oh, my stars, that's beautiful, beautiful. Can y'all see that? The fruit all on it, just beautiful. That is beautiful. It's got strawberries and flowers and an orange and a pear and grapes. And it is priceless. Oh, it's priceless. And I love this fabric. So, so nice, so pretty. Thank you so much for that. And that's not all she said, guys. She says an oil can used as an olive oil dispenser to serve at the table. It's also Portugal as well. And look, I've never seen one of these. I'm so, I love it. Thank you so much, Helen. Helen Marie. That is so beautiful. Your, your middle name is my grandmother's, uh, 
middle name and I love the name Marie and also my granddaughter has that middle name and one of my daughter-in-law so I love that that's special to me this is so neat so neat thank you so much that's not all guys I know I feel like it's Christmas time over here for me she sent hot peppers crushed hot peppers you can enjoy to marinate with cooking or grilling and yes I will do all of those thank you so very much <laughs> wonderful wonderful and she sent also whole and ground chorizo sausage she says drizzle she sent the ground and the whole wonderful wonderful she sent it said drizzle a little olive oil over it in a skillet and heat through then serve on a hot dog bun and that is exactly what I'm gonna try it on you can grill or add it to stews or even soup right I know and then something she didn't even list she sent these cute adorable little measuring cups you see it looks like a lemon I love it love it they are adorable look at that <laughs> looks like half a lemon and it's got your measurements in there I love it these are definitely staying down here y'all will be seeing me using these in some recipes and I'm going to get this with all my other cards down here and treasure all this. Thank you so much, Helen. I just, I, just to say thank you isn't even enough. Y'all make me want to cry with some of these things. And y'all are sending me like family heirloom things. And I'm just, and I, I know that and I will cherish them forever. I certainly will. So thank you, Helen. 